Not that it's any of my business, but it was straight before. I know. Oh, I get it. Look less together, get underestimated. <laughs> you gotta wave your hand slower. Thanks. No problem. If you want soap, you just click your heels together three times. How do you think I'm planning on getting that dryer to work? <laughs> you know, you think you wouldn't have these problems considering what you guys charge. Oh, no, I don't work here. But you, uh... I used to. You're Mike Ross. And you're Logan Sanders. <laughs> Baby Tom. Don't mind if I do. After you. Don't mind if I do. I see you two have met. We have. <sighs> and don't underestimate him because of his tie. I have always estimated that tie correctly. Now, can we talk about business? It depends on what you're proposing. That you walk away. Well, that doesn't sound like much of a deal. Well, he forgot to add the part where you walk away $20 million richer. Pure profit. No risk. Win, win. Sounds good. I guess I just have one question. What exactly are you going to do with this company? All due respect, I don't see how that's any of your concern. All due respect, you're the one coming to me with an offer. So if I say it's my concern, it is. Mike, you're asking about a competitor's business plan. And if he wants to not be competitors, then he needs to answer my question. OK, I'll tell you. I'm going to do what anyone would and sell it for parts. <laughs> no deal. OK, Mike. You win. Let's uh, make it 30 million. You can make it a billion, Logan, and the answer is still going to be the same. Because I made a promise to Walter Gillis that I would fight to keep his company alive. And I don't think he's going to believe that cutting a deal to sell his workers out is keeping that promise. I thought you said he was smart. I am, which is why I know what's going on here. What exactly is that? No one ever tells you no. You're used to getting what you want. But that's going to stop right now. You're right. I do always get what I want. I don't see how this time is going to be any different. I'll tell you how it's going to be different. This time you're talking about something that I care about. So if you think I'm going to step aside. Yeah, I don't care if you step aside or not. When I see something I want, I take it. And then I do whatever the hell I want with it. And what I want to do with this company is strip it down, flip it over. Okay, that's enough. No, 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 let him talk. I want to hear this. Keep going, Sanders. No, I don't need to because you know how this ends. Yeah, I do. With me and Walter Gillis on one side and you crying to your daddy on the other. We're done. You're right. We are. Listen to me. The next time I say don't come to a meeting, don't come to a meeting. Hey, he came at me just as hard as... I don't as... give a shit what he did. Now, if you'll excuse me. Where are you going? To get you this company. What are you talking about? Weren't you listening? He just gave up his weak spot. Was that true about Jenkins? <laughs> I don't even know a Jenkins. But I do know Todd's vein wasn't bulging. And Lewis, you were actually pretty good in there. Yeah, I was. And so are you. So we're in agreement. Yeah, you don't completely suck. I just meant that we should stick by Todd Smith. Well, that story was so ridiculous, it just might be true. Great. I'll call Felton and make the recommendation. Well, I'm, uh, well hold up. You're going to do what now? Call my client? Lewis, it may be your client, but it's still my case. Like hell it is, Jeff. OK. OK, you call. Oh, I plan to. And when I do, I'll be telling them that Mr. Slippery Fingers is no longer our problem. Just one second ago, you said you believed him. Yeah, I also told you that his story was so ridiculous that nobody would believe it. Well, then it's our job to make them believe it, Lewis, or this guy could wind up in prison. He is not my concern, Jeff. Felton Securities is. Jesus. Walter Gillis knows what he's doing. Yeah, so do I. He's letting your pension go unfunded so he can hoard a billion dollars. No. That money is earmarked for expansion into Asia, and I believe in Walter's vision. You might, but do the workers you represent? You're acting as if our fund is empty. I'm acting as if it's 40% full. And let me guess, you're going to fill up the rest. Someone else wants to acquire Gillis's company before we can make an offer. If you vote to block it, we will fully fund your pension the day we take over. You're talking about me selling out my friend. I'm talking about $500 million. And why can you fund it and they can't? Well, they can with half that billion, but they won't, because like I said, he's hoarding it for that pipe dream. 
You're gonna take that billion for yourselves. Half. The other half goes to you and your union. The man Walter Gillis supposedly cares about. Pete, this is gonna happen whether it's me or someone else. And someone else may not give you the chance to do what you were elected to do. Protect your people.